Hi, Tura. Hello, I'm Michael Akabe. Expresso on SABC3. We're live on this Friday morning. We're going to go to the next one. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 So it's all about classic chicken pies in the Expresso kitchen this morning. But whenever Moira steps into the kitchen, you can be assured of some sort of a twist to this classic recipe. And I bet you it's going to be absolutely amazing. Moira, lovely to have you in the kitchen. Thank you for having me so, again. So chicken pies, good old chicken pies. Good old chicken pies. It's really a pot pie. Um, yeah. we, we, we don't put pastry in the bottom because, you know, the extra calories. So we, <laughs> we, we love, it's all about the filling. People often will buy pies out there and they never enough filling. Yes. So this is a really good chicken pie. We're doing, you know, the old traditional chicken chicken and apricot okay. and I'm now taking that filling and putting it into a pie oh, nice. and we're adding in some kidney beans for some extra um, nutrition and some colour. Right, so let's make good. the sauce first because okay. everything stems off this. So in there I've got some onions, leeks, celery and um, carrots, All right. obviously your, your basis. That's um, it. You can add some garlic in there if you'd like. You just saute it till it's nice and soft. Then we're going to add in some harissa paste because this oh, just wow, is yes. like a boost of flavour. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we're going to add in the ku tomato paste. Okay. Perfect. And then we're going to, it's almost like making a roux. So we add in a little bit of flour, which is, the flour thickens your sauce. All right, look okay. at that. Oh, you can <clears throat> already see that it's going to be packed Yeah, and full I'm of just leaving it, and it's not um, sticking yet. I'm no. adding in some herbs, just a whole mixture of fresh herbs. All right. Okay. And Put then we're going to add in some stock. Because now you can see it's starting yeah. to just thicken. stick at the bottom. So we All just right, we add in a little bit. Deglaze it there. Oh, excuse there me. Go. Listen to the terminology. You know, I've been in the <laughs> kitchen once or twice before, eh? But look at that. Okay. All right. So really, that, then we add in some cream. Okay. Oh, and then what's going wow. to happen is that it's going obviously going to thicken. Yes. From the flour, and then you would adjust once you it's thickened, you adjust the seasoning with salt and pepper. Okay. Don't do it yet because we've used the stock. Yes. And, and that's so it. do it that, afterwards. That's it. So right. that's really the base of the sauce. Once it's thick, you bring it off, and I've got some already here. Brilliant. And you can leave that one, and you can see the viewers can see how thick it should yes, be. Yes. Look right. at that perfect But look at the lovely, lovely colour. As yes. well. All right, and then we add some chicken into it, some just right. some cooked chicken. Use your leftover chicken from a Sunday roast or, or breast that you've got. Okay. Or even if you, you don't have any leftover, but you yeah. know, it's very quick to do. Sauce All right, and then this is a coup apricot halves, which we've drained the, the sweet um, sauce off and we've just, or the syrup, yeah. and we've just chopped it into small little pieces. Brilliant. Okay, and then we add in the kidney beans. Again, also just being rinsed and drained yes. off. So that is really your basis and, and your filling. That's brilliant. I love that filling, yeah. And especially it's the sweetness from the apricots that come you know, through. So I'm so sick of steak and kidney and roast yeah. chicken or, or you know, beef and onion. This is something different and you make exactly. it your own. And the best part is homemade, which is great. Exactly. So if you want to get your hands on the recipe to our beautiful chicken pot pies this morning, SMS the keyword Q to 33728. All right. So I'm doing individual ones. You could make a big one. Yep. If you wanted to, you just um, put you yeah. put it in right to the top. All right. Okay. Well, obviously not not too far because you yeah. don't want it to bubble over. And I'll just mess that's you all on. good. All right. <laughs> it is the kitchen after all. So what I like to do is you take some puff pastry. Okay. Okay. And you cut it out into a circle. All right. All right. And then I just I, I I do it this way as well, so that it sticks nicely. Right. Okay. And now you would put it, you can either make it go over the top or you can push it make in. Make sure it goes in, yeah. You push it in like that. So what would you suggest though? Just put it in maybe like this. Just well, I like to put it in like this because it looks neater. Yes. Okay. And then you could either use a fork to go around it or you could just put your fingers, put your fingers like this up. and you just push it up like that. Okay. And you just make it yes. nice and neat and, and I and that's like how that. simple it is. And then you would take a knife and just score it a little bit on the top. This will allow for it to rise. That's it. Okay, and then we're going to just top it off with some egg wash and some sesame seed and it goes into a hot oven and it puffs up and it's done. Magic. I love it. That keyword once again, Ku, is missed that to 33728. But here's one last look in case you missed anything. Saute onion, celery, carrots, leeks and garlic until softened. Add the harissa paste and flour and lightly saute. Add sage, rosemary, coriander, ku tomato paste and stock. Cook until sauce starts to thicken. Add cream and bring to boil. Stir in seasoning, cooked chicken, ku apricots and ku kidney beans. Allow to simmer until sauce has thickened. 
Fill the pie dishes with filling and cover with puff pastry. Seal the edges, egg wash the top of the pie lids and sprinkle with sesame seeds. Then bake for 20 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And there you have it, homemade chicken pot pies with a fruity twist. That keyword this morning, KU, SMS that to 33728. And that's it, Moira. Yes, that's quick it. Quick and easy. I mean, it was very quick and easy and delicious. And remember, you can make it in a big one. But uh, I mean, that's yeah. just so lovely. You know what, what? It's nice individual portions Very as well, nice. especially if you have guests coming over. Great. Served with a salad salad and some crusty bread. You don't even need the bread, but nice and healthy. Pure magic. Love it. Thank you so much for sharing that keyword. Once again, coup to 33728. But we would love to hear from you at home. If you have any fancy coup recipes that you would love to share with us, you can do so. Email them to food at expressoshow.com. We always love to connect with you. And who knows, we might make your recipe live on air. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.